the vacation ends tragically on a Milwaukee bridge. We're learning more about a father of six who's married more than 50 years who died after the bridge opened with him on it. And that's exactly where we find Fox 6's Spencer Tracy live from the Kilbourne Avenue Bridge. And Spencer, you spoke with the man's children today. Hey, Richard Dujarge and his wife and his kids were visiting here in Milwaukee. Richard was actually on his way going to church on this bridge. And they tell me he was quite the storyteller. He actually was a reporter for 47 years at Providence Journal in Rhode Island. They say that his stories will never be forgotten. He had a zest for life. Uh, he was very youthful. Richard Dujardin was a family man, a father of six and a husband for 54 years. They had a tremendous love and they had a, did everything together. They had the same quirks. Even on vacation from Rhode Island, family members say Richard always made time for his faith. He was on his way to Mass when the tragedy took place. Milwaukee County Medical Examiner say Richard was crossing the Kilbourne drawbridge when it started to open. He was trying to catch up to his wife, who made it across. The lights, bells, and arms came down at each end of the bridge. But family says Richard was hard of hearing. He tried to grab and hang onto the side rail, but fell 71 feet. The last thing he said was I talked to him on the phone um, they were here in Milwaukee, and he was just talking about what a hero my mom was. The drawbridge is controlled by Department of Public Works. They have two cameras pointed at the bridge and have to check both before allowing the bridge to open. DPW says in a statement that their employee working during the incident was fully trained. He was on his fourth year as a bridge operator. Richard's children say their father's stories, memories, and faith will never fade. Even through this um, tragedy, the, um, everybody has been so caring and generous with us. DPW says their employee is currently on leave and seeking counseling. I also reached out to Milwaukee Police Department. They said there was no criminal acts, but they are still investigating. For now, reporting live in Milwaukee tonight, I'm Spencer Tracy, Fox 6 News. Sounds like it was just a tragic accident. So sad. Spencer, thank you.